Several months ago, I woke up in the morning and I, I, I went to the computer naked like you do, and I, <laughs> I started, I started typing away. You see, and, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the phone rang. You see, all of a sudden, the phone rang. Ring, and I look over, and on the call minder, it says Department of Justice. Okay, if if you want to be wide awake on a Monday morning. Have the Department of Justice phone you at home, <laughs> okay, and when you're in the nude, you know. So, uh, I, I, I picked up the phone and I said, oh, Bill Carr here, oh, Bill Carr dead, Bill Carr gone away, you know. And they said, no, 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 we, we want to hire you. I said, oh, just take he's right here. <laughs> I, I said, what, what would you like? They said, well, this is the Department of Justice, we'd like you to come to Ottawa. So I knew I'd have to speak slowly. And uh, I... I said, what is, it, what is it you'd like me to talk about? They said, well, it's the Department of Justice, and we'd like you to come to Ottawa, and we'd like you to speak on racial diversity and gender equality. I said, what? <laughs> they said, well, we're trying to sensitize the Canadian judicial system to the issues of racial diversity and gender equality, and we wondered if you'd come and speak to that. I said, sure. I said, could I ask you a question? I said, have you seen my picture? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I kind of look like the poster boy for what you're worried about, actually. You, you know, really. I'm a white, middle-aged, middle-class guy from the Maritimes. Right? I'm, not, I'm not part of the problem. I look like the whole friggin' deal here. I, we're talking about change a lot. And I actually changed the word. I don't even use the word change anymore. I use the word motion, all right? Change implies something. Change says, I'm looking this way, I'm going to change, I'm going to look this way, all right? And that means we're done. No. When change is like this, I'm going to look this way this morning, I'm going to look this way this afternoon, I'm going to look this way tonight, I'm going to look this way tonight. That's not change, that's motion. And motion means we can dance with it. And I just want to hold, just hold that idea. If you think of motion that way, then all of a sudden you, there's nothing to resist. It's just moving. It's just flowing. It's just what's happening. And we try to find our best fit and our best motion with it. And we move with things instead of resist things. Epoch, E-P-O-C-H-E with a little grav. And what it means is to pause, step back, breathe, and ask yourself what's really going on. All right? Pause, step back, breathe, and ask yourself what's really going on. The Greeks invented this word thousands of years ago because they felt there was too much change in their lives happening too quickly. <laughs> I guess the chariots were just whizzing by, you know. <laughs> there were people robbing each other with spears and stuff, you know. And so it was, and, and, so, and I thought, wow, what a great word, though. Pause, step back, breathe, and ask yourself what's really going on. And it's an amazing, do me a favor right now, do me a favor right now, and I'm gonna, we're going to take you through some stuff in the next little while. Take a deep breath right now, everybody. Breathe out. Excellent. Now, see, now, actually, you're really quite wonderful. I, I, I was doing a group of lawyers, pardon the expression, and I, and it, was, it was in Toronto, and I said, I said, take a deep breath, and they went, <laughs> It's like, you're not the boss of me. Right? I, I just looked at them, I said, you're breathing anyway. Like, I'm just, I'm just asking you to take one consciously, that's all, just, you know. And, but, but it's true. And, and I, I, want you to, I want you to do this. I want, now I want you to do it again. And here's what I want you to do. Just feel the room. Just, just sort of go like, you know, it's kind of new agey. But just feel the room for a second. Now watch this. Take a deep breath with me right now. Breathe out. We have seriously, in that moment, shifted the mood in the room and our physiology. All right? When I, start, when I found this out, when I found out this thing, I started to study stress, reactions, my life, what was going on in my world. And one of the things that was I epoch stood back, took a breath, and asked myself what was really going on, I started to study my reaction to things. And that made me study neurology. If you haven't been into any of the new books on neurology that are out right now, go get some. Get Coleman's book on social intelligence. Get Siegel's book on the mindful brain. Get anything you can get your hands on that deals with the new neuroscience. There are amazing things that are happening out there. And just about all of them have a reference to the idea that we've got to stop, breathe, and take a look at what's going on. When do telemarketers call? Supper time. Supper time. Thank you very much. Now, <laughs> epoch, pause, step back, breathe. Ask yourself a question. What are you doing answering the phone at supper time? <laughs>
What are you, stupid? Right? I mean, we don't have to answer the phone at supper time. The world's going to keep turning if we do it. The only people who ever called me at supper time are telemarketers and my in-laws, neither of whom I wanted to talk to at any particular time. <laughs> but we're stupid. We pick up the phone and go, hello, right, ring, hello, right away, right? And, then, and, then, and, then they, and you know it's a telemarketer right away because they, they'll say, hello, William James Carr, right? <laughs> they probably don't say that to you, but that's what they say to me. And... They use your full name, is what I mean. And, and, and you know, and so you go, oh, stupid, all right. Because the only person who ever calls me William James Carr is my mother, and that's when she's ticked at me. You know, say, like, William James Carr, get in here, let eat you. You know, so I, so, so I thought, oh, my soul. And so you pick up the phone, you go, oh, it's a telemarketer. What do you want? Just, just, I, just I don't get. And, and we don't, but, and we're, we're maritimers. How many of you are mar real straight up maritimers? All right, so you know, you know. If it's the phone, we're 10 minutes, all right? We can't get off the phone in less than 10 minutes. Doesn't matter if it's a wrong number, does it, really? You know, they say, hello, I'm looking for Mary. No, there's no Mary here, but Mary who? <laughs> Mary Ferguson. Mary Ferguson from up the cold. What's her father's name, Jimmy? Because Jimmy was a... Right? And the next thing you know, you're in it, you know. So, so, so it's like that, right? So, so the phone rings, hello, William James got out. Oh. Now, because I practice what I preach, pause, step back, breathe. I said, what's really going on here? What's really going on here, I realized, is there's a telemarketer on the other end of the phone who has a job to do. And that job, they have a script in front of them that's written out for them that they have to follow. And on that, it says, hello, blank. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> or you. Right? And then it says, in the next line, and this is true now, and you check me if you don't believe me. Check everything I say, and I always believe this. Check everything I say against the truth and find out if I'm telling you what is right, okay? The next line out of their mouths is something to this effect. How are you this evening? Now you see, according to social parlance, that is a question. That means it's my turn to talk. Now normally, I'm going, what do you want? What do you want? Let's do it. And they jump into their spiel, and then they're lost. Then they're gone. You can't stop them, because they've got a spiel written out that can't stop. But now, because I practice what I preach, I have a script by my phone. <laughs> Oh, yes, I do. All right. And I've got it laminated so the kids can use it, actually. And I, I sit it there by the phone. And when they phone, they say, hello, William James Carr. And I pick up my script and I take a deep breath. And I wait for my cue. You see? And they'll say, how are you this evening? And I start to answer them. I'll say, well, there's a lot of bloating been going on lately. I, I thought it was the corned beef and cabbage, but I'm starting to think it may be a gastrointestinal situation that is getting somewhat out of control. In fact, when I go to bed at night, I have to hold the blankets down because I can blow the pillow right off the back of the bed. You, you cannot light a candle in my bedroom in the evening because, and I just keep talking, right? There's a, there's a strange rash that's developing upon my, and I, and I, I never get past the phrase, burning pussy discharge. They hang up on me, baby, let me tell you right now. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do.